Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be telling you 10 unpopular natural hair methods that I use. It wasn't very hard to come up with these, but they are not liked in the natural hair community. Anyway, if you want to see what they are, carry on watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Miss Lauren the 11 and yes, I've been gone for a minute just because guys, I have been trying to construct and rejig and what have you, some new content for you because I just needed a break. However, I've always got something up here for you. Number one being, I am a hair grease advocate. I love hair grease. This is why I've chose it for number one because it is not popular in the natural hair community. But I see a few people going back to what they know and what they believe works for them and what I believe and know works for me. However, hair grease is not loved in the natural hair community. Although someone like me, I prefer to be a non-conformist. I'm gonna do the opposite only if it's beneficial to me and it's not detrimental. My hair, is flourishing and the first time i can say consistently in my natural hair journey and yes i do say i owe it to hair grease because it keeps in the moisture maintain my hairstyles maintain my scalp yes i said scalp i put hair grease on my scalp so that's number one okay so this kind of goes hand in hand with hair grease and this is number two another of my natural hair unpopular opinions i don't use leave-in i used to and i was using it with hair grease to be honest, I find that a leave-in with hair grease doesn't do anything for my hair. If I'm doing a hairstyle, for instance, where I used to do like wash and goes, let's say, which I've now actually stopped, I would use a leave-in. I'm not opposed to using leave-ins if you're gonna put a gel in on top or you're gonna put another styling cream on top. However, with hair grease, I don't find it necessary. The hair grease locks in the moisture enough and keeps my hair moisturized on its own. And that is number two. Okay, so this is number three, and I'm sticking to the theme of hair grease just for the moment. I am officially in love with the Black Dax. There it is, guys. If you know about the Black Dax, you know what I'm talking about. Unmistakably a well-known hair grease. If you know, you know. Now, the reason I love this hair grease, and I have avoided it for the longest, it was the smell. Now, if I'm going to put a product in my hair, it needs to smell correct. <sighs> If you know about the Black Dax, which is called Coca Tar, and I recently found out why, because it contains coconut oil and tar. Coca Tar, duh. If you don't know about it, let me just explain it to you. The smell is kind of like, don't, don't start me, guys, but just listen, just listen. The smell smells like bacon. Okay, okay, I know what you're thinking. Why would I want product in my hair that makes me smell like pork rinds. The smell wears off when you put it in your hair. If you can stomach the smell from the jar and you can manage to put it on your hair, it does eventually wear off and it has a nice undertone fragrance. I don't know what possessed me to pick it up and I said, you know what, let me just try it because this is literally the last hair grease in the Dax collection. This is what I've got in my hair now. So that's number three. Number four, I don't deep condition very often. Now I'm gonna say, in the last three months, I have deep conditioned twice, maybe? It's only my third day out here, I don't Damn. know. Deep conditioning for the natural hair care, especially type four hair because we have fragile hair and we need to put so much love into our hair. You're meant to be deep conditioning, I suppose, if you're following the rules, every week or maybe even twice a week. I said I deep conditioned in the space of three months, maybe twice. And that's not because I'm not conditioning my hair whatsoever. I will do an updated routine if you want. What I do, guys, wash my hair and I usually use a moisturizing shampoo. Then I just condition my hair, guys. I leave that conditioner on for about 15 minutes. So it's not deep conditioning, but it is conditioning. So I detangle with the conditioner. I don't necessarily feel like a deep conditioner for me personally would suffice. Yeah, I don't feel that my hair is really benefited as such from deep conditioning but that's just my opinion i could be wrong i could you know i could be missing out on a great step here i'll do it once in a while just to up the ante you know what i'm saying <laughs> so number five what i am talking about is co-washing okay so this is one that i didn't like it however i think i secretly did only because it aided in my natural hair growth when i say aided in my natural hair growth it's because it increased the moisture that i had in my hair through each wash day. I suppose it's like my guilty pleasure. 
I don't do it anymore. I did see a substantial amount of natural hair growth because of co-washing. I know it was because of co-washing because that was the only thing at the time that I had implemented and changed in my routine. However, my hair just never felt clean. And you know, there's the whole debate whether co-washing is to cleanse your hair or just to add moisture throughout the month. My hair didn't feel clean. I have done my research guys. I have read in numerous articles that co-washing is to cleanse your hair as well as add moisture. I like my hair to feel squeaky clean and then I'll add the moisture, i.e. the conditioner back in. Hence why I stopped. So that is number five. Okay, so number six is I regrease my hair. Yes, I said it. I regrease my hair in between washes. Now, this I know is most probably, again, an unpopular opinion in the natural hair community. However, it's what works for my hair. And contrary to popular belief, hair grease doesn't just stay in your hair from wash day till the next wash day. It does eventually wear off. Just lying on a silk scarf or putting on a bonnet, it does rub off your hair, guys. And your hair will start to feel dry again, just like any other hair product. It's just a little bit more, a little bit more resistant to rubbing off. However, it does rub off. Now, I used to wash my hair every four days. It's because when my hair was in a wash and go, by the fourth to fifth day, my hair was dry, needed to be washed, and it was just done. However, since we're in a protective style, I can stretch my hair from Sunday to Sunday. I'd say midweek, so around Wednesday, what I usually do is take out my plaits, re-spritz them, then re-grease them. And then I do, guys, yes I do, I grease my scalp. This will be sufficient enough for the next wash day. Okay, so number seven, not to step on anyone's toes, I do not follow any natural hair fads. Initially, when I started my journey, I did, but I found that once one fad came out, another one would come out, and another one, and another one. Before you started using something, i.e. the curly girl method, co-washing, bagging method, rice water, if you are someone who likes to jump on the fad train, you haven't had a chance to see what is actually working for your hair. Step back, chill out, take your time. When I was having my break from YouTube, I was consistently doing my hair grease routine. I know what works for my hair, and if it's working for my hair, I don't really want to change it up. Therefore, stick to what I know, unless it stops working. Okay, so this leads me on to number eight. And I straighten my hair with hair grease. Not any old hair grease, though. I use the specific hair grease for straightening, which is... Coconut oil and castor oil pressing oil from Dax. And the reason why I use hair grease to straighten my hair is because it keeps my hair totally straight. My hair was not frizzing at all. When I straightened my hair last month, I tried straightening with a heat protectant spray and then Dr. Miracle's uh, heat protectant straightening something. After straightening my hair, it began to frizz around here frizz around here, at the ends curled up. So I just had to go back to the hair grease, which kind of irritated me because I had to re-straighten my hair. However, using the hair grease, it helps protect my hair from any heat damage. So my curls come back beautiful. They're not less coily, they're not more stretched. That is why I straighten my hair with hair grease. All right, so that's number eight. Number nine. Okay, so this is another big no-no, and <laughs> I'm sure an unpopular opinion again. I towel dry my hair. Yes, I said it, I towel dry my hair. Now I know guys, I've got type four natural hair and I know type four natural hair is very, very fragile. Hence why I'm very, very delicate with my hair when I'm drying it. The tools you use obviously do make a substantial difference. However, if you know what you're doing and you know what works for your hair, you can work around that. And I literally just pat the ends. I don't mind the moisture on my hair because it takes a long time for moisture to seep into my strands. To be honest, the droplets just sit on my strands, so I just I just leave them there. The ends, I just don't like dripping on me, so I just pat as much as possible. I don't feel that drying my hair with a t-shirt or a cotton fabric, what have you. I've tried it. These are things that I've tried. I just don't like it. It doesn't work for me personally. So that is number nine. Okay, so number 10, this is not one that I'm proud of. <laughs> and now I've been sounding very proud of the previous ones, but this is not one that I'm proud of. I miss out on protein treatments and I do do them, but I just don't do them as regularly as I should do. Now, protein treatments I've seen 
a significant change in my hair straight after using it. My curls bounce back, they're more juicy, they're more alive because you need that balance. You need the moisture and then you need the protein, like especially with low porosity hair. Now I do believe my hair is due for a protein treatment and I will be doing one shortly. Your hair needs, as I said, moisture, needs protein, needs love and care, needs sealants and needs to be left alone. So this brings me on to my conclusion of my 10 unpopular opinions of hair methods that I do. What I will say guys is your kinks, curls, coils, strands are different. They're different from other people's and in fact they are different from different coils, kinks and strands on your head. You have to treat your hair as though they are their own individual fingerprints they're not gonna be the same. Not everything that works for one side of your head is gonna work for the other side of your head because that's what I go through. Let alone what works for someone's hair who has similar hair texture to yours is not necessarily sorry, gonna work for your own hair texture. I hope you enjoyed this unpopular opinion natural hair edition. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at MissLaurenDee11 where you can see my daily posts and i will see you next week thanks so much for watching guys see you in the next one bye